Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to save a lot of time in Photoshop when doing anything repetitive. Now to do this, what we're going to do is create an action. So to get us started, I'm going to go to File, Open, and then Open an Image. I have this strawberry image. Some of you guys might recognize these images from my last tutorial. Just kind of recycling them. So I'm going to open that up. Um, this is a pretty large image. If I double click on this so we can actually see the size. Um, if I click on the corner here with um, show transform controls on then you can see the width and height so this is 2272 pixels wide by 1704 pixels high so this is a pretty large image and it's going to have a high file size on your computer now say you have a lot of images uh, like this on your computer and you want to try and save some space you're going to want to size them down but it's going to be a pain to size each one down individually so an action is going to be very helpful in that situation so I'm just going to click the check mark so we can get started creating our action so we're going to open up the Actions panel, and I have a button over here that does that. Or you can go to Window, Actions, or Alt F9. So as you can see when you open up the panel, you have quite a few different uh, actions here um, that Photoshop gives you. But we're going to create a separate set, so we're going to click this folder icon and then name a set, and we'll just call it My Actions. And that's going to create a new folder. So with that selected, we're going to create this or we're going to press this button and it's going to create a new action and uh, I'm also going to change the images to black and white so you guys can kind of get a better feel for what actions can do so I'm going to change it to black or I'm going to name it black and white and we're going to, going to click record now anything after I click record that I do is going to be added to our action so we're going to start by actually making it black and white by going to image then adjustments then desaturate and some of you guys are probably thinking well that's not the best way to get uh, best result from black and white but I'm trying to um, keep this tutorial simple so desaturates what I chose if you want to see the other versions of what you can do for black and white you can check that tutorial out so now what we're gonna do is actually size this down so I'm gonna go to image image size and then we need to make sure that constraint proportions is checked on so that you um, don't have any skewed images like where the height is a certain thing and the um, width doesn't match the height so I'm going to change the width to 600 and you can see it's changed the height to 450 and I'm going to click OK which now it has drastically reduced the file size this is at hundred percent right here so it's still pretty good size um, but it's definitely reduced the file size on that so now what we're going to do is actually save this image out so that our action does that um, and we don't have to go through and save each one after the action runs so we're going to do save for web and devices click over to original uh, make sure it's set on JPEG or whatever you want it to be set on and then I'm going to save it out. Now I have this folder here called edited which is going to hold the edited um, images. I also have a folder here called originals so you guys can see the difference. Um, so I'm going to save it in that folder. Now you can see export has been added to the action and then lastly we're going to close the file. So now, now we're basically done with our action so I'm going to click stop um, I just want to make a point to tell you guys that this isn't this isn't an all or nothing thing. You can't you're not like oh darn I messed up during my action. I need to delete the action and restart. If you mess up at any time, you can delete any of the steps of your action by clicking delete. If you want to further see what you've done, you can um, see the information right here. Like we've changed it to 600 width for the image size. If you want to add anything later on, you just go to the layer and then basically after that it's going to be added so if I click to record right now then anything I do would be in between image size and export so it's not an all or nothing thing you can actually change it later so now let me show you what actions can actually do so I'm going to um, actually open up the edited folder and you can see our image there I'm just going to delete that so it doesn't give me a uh, like a replace this later thing so I'm going to open up a different image let's say the uh, markers image here and now I'm just going to go and click on this black and white uh, bar here and we're going to click on this play button and then it'll run through the action super fast and you can see in the edited folder it has added the image now to do this manually for each image it would take forever but as you see I just click that play button after you create the action and it does it in seconds so I'm just going to delete that and then I'm going to show you how you can do this for multiple images so I'm going to minimize that and now we're going to go to file and then automate and then we're going to go to batch. Now this is going to allow us to do this for a large number of images. Say you have like a hundred images in your in a folder and you want to do all of the images the same way like you're adding a 
copyright symbol or a um, like a watermark or something to the images. So I'm going to make the set my actions, make sure it's set to black and white, and then we're going to go to folder and we're going to choose a folder. It already has it selected, but uh, make sure that you have. I have a folder called Originals. We're going to make sure that's selected. And then once you click OK, it's going to run through all the images in that folder, and I have five. So you'll see it open and close the images pretty quickly and go through each of them, running through each of the steps that we've created. And once it's done, then we will be able to see, okay, it looks like it's done. So we have originals. These are the original images right here. And then these are the edited images. And you can see it went through all five of those images in seconds doing each of the steps to them. You can see that they're all 600 wide and they are all uh, black and white. So you can see how this could save you a ton of time in Photoshop. Um, and don't forget that actions are basically just like anything else that we've uh, I've shown you before, such as um, patterns and brushes. You can actually find actions online and download them, so you might not even have to create them yourself, or you can share your actions with other people or between your computers. So um, I just really wanted to show you this uh, because it can save you a lot of time. Uh, hopefully you guys haven't opened and closed things a million times before. Um, and just one fact I wanted to tell you uh, before I finish, um, I added the close in there because if you're doing a large number of images, five isn't really a problem, but if you're doing like 100 images, it will keep all 100 images opened if you don't have this close at the end, and it might crash Photoshop depending on what your computer can handle. So without having 100 images open, um, that's basically why I added the close in there. So it's just a little tip that might help you out. So I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. I hope you go on to create some pretty cool actions. Um, I hope you guys subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you next week. Thanks.